This program is rated D for discuss. Viewer's discretion is advised. There is no doubt that a student union activity center should be an environment where students can freely de-stress from the rigidity of school and be comfortable in an open or closed space. UTEC Student Activity Center was lobbied for during the 1990s but only came to realization in the year 2001 under the then Student Union President Kirk Bolton. For the years that followed, the Students' Union was popularly called Barn and became the hotspot of the university, especially for parties and social events. With the development of the Barn, saw businesses being established to serve the student and staff population. Entities like Duane's Minimart, Rose's Eatery, Submerge, Katch's Barbershop, Salonique Beauty Salon, OMG hot dog stand, and a jewelry and makeup booth. For the past two to four years, the barn has become unattractive and undeveloped. On paved roads, untenored lawn space, and limited seating arrangements have turned the hot spot of the university into a mere grab-and-go activity center. Students merely visit the complex to purchase their food, after which leave to find a comfortable area to eat and socialize with friends. Jovan Codlin, the current vice president of UTEC Students Union, speaks on the conditions of the barn and its underdevelopment. From the university aspect, I think the University of Technology, for a student activity center is not up to par, as in university standard-wise. Because if you should go around and um, view other premises that where students are allowed to do their activities, it is nothing compared to ours. And it wouldn't be com in comparison a great standard. So as a result of that, when we approach our sponsors for this academic year, we actually, the main idea of approaching our sponsors was one of them um, was to change the barn infrastructure. And as a result of that, when, it, when we pitched the idea to our sponsors, two of them actually said, they were waiting on that from last year. The dusty and unattended environment is a recipe for a pot of health issues. What the old activity center used to be like, you know, it used to be a bit small but nonetheless effective. Right here is where the ladies usually get their nails done, their hair, you name it, those are the stuff. Now I don't want it to go too close now because it's, it's a bit, you understand what I'm saying? So that's where the salon used to be for the females. Now, Jamie, this is where now the barber shop, the barber salon used to be. As you can see, the painting, the decoration is still there that can remind you that yeah, it was a barber shop. And over here used to be our one stop, Duhane is Mini Mart. You could get anything here to buy, anything to eat. As a matter of fact, there's still old prices here, as you can also see on the wall. So, this used to be Duhane is Mini Mart. And now what I'll do, I'll take you outside now and show you where Roses and Submerge and those other places used to be. Okay, you can come on. Right here is where Roses Mini Mart used to be. As you can see, it's now where most of the guys meet on a daily basis to have fun. So that's where Roses used to be. It's now in the barn. And this is where Submerge was. One of the recent health scares that took place at the barn in the year 2012 was that of a rat infestation at the Submerge fast food joint. Submerge was forced to close and relocate by the health department. The ongoing additions to the School of Hospitality and Tourism Management, that is, the university's hotel, have also been contributing factors to the deplorable conditions of the barn. The condition of the barn um, stemmed from the university um, building project. One, I can say that is the, the School of Hospitality renovation and also the addition of the UTEC 
hotel that will be that has um, finally finished that was a problem as it relates to the barn so the the tug and war was to what will be done here will we still have the space or will we be moved to another location heavy duty vehicles such as tractors and trailers help to damage the roads and the dust from cement leave the atmosphere full of allergy and sinus triggers now i can safely say that the barn changes the, 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 the whole ambience of the barn because when you go into a place like if it is your activity center you're supposed to feel comfortable there's nothing comfortable in the barn now mind you that before before now there there was a pool t there were two pool tables by greenhouse there was a place where a person could get their drink not alcoholic drink but drink if so desired they could have gotten that wise also but for this for this academic year, it, it, it totally changed. Buildings seem more equipped, and it seemed as if the structure was meant for the students in a way, because I remember there was a section where you could go, you could have a good time, sit down, lounge with your friends. There's no, there's no longer any of that. It is safe to say that the barn, based on its current state, is in no way a comfortable environment for students. What then does the students' union body have in the pipeline to create a comfortable and attractive students' activity center?